years ago, Indian River was not doing recycling. Okay. And they tried to get it through, and there was a big, big argument and fight, and they had township meetings and that kind of thing. Okay, so one of the things that happened is they started holding town meetings. Okay. The kids came to those meetings, passed out cookies, did signs, talked about how important recycling is, and in fact had started to do recycling within the school. Okay. And I think that, and then we circulated a lot of information within school, posted things. So the township board still was afraid to pass it. Even though there were 80 people there, one was against it. So we had to go for a vote. And when they get for a vote, it was passed over one way. I think the kids really had an impact on that. You know, they got the word out amongst themselves. They encouraged their parents to recycle. They actually did recycling in the school on their own time. It's been a great program. And I think that they really impacted, and I think many of them, some of them have graduated, felt like because of them, this went through in the community. And well, it brings it home. It makes it real to them. Um, most of the teachers that I've talked to said the kids, even the kids that have trouble engaging on a day-to-day -day basis, do better when they're out there doing something. It seems to engage students that have difficulty in a classroom setting. And it's not a new concept. They use it all over, but it's true. Hands-on learning for kids that sit. How many kids can sit in a classroom? There's a certain type of learning. They can sit in the classroom and just absorb. And the other 30 or 40 percent fall between the cracks. See, that's what I said. I've heard that from teachers. I've seen it demonstrated. We work with a group of at-risk kids who every year plan a project and then learn all about it and do it. And those kids get so excited and so enthusiastic. We see them all the time. Um, and then they continue to be that way for years. They wear their shirts around. It's, it's impressive. And we can trust them. They're in hotels overnight. They're, they're, they're interested. They don't do any of the acting out. We don't see anybody testing the limits. With, you know, the kind of things that kids would normally do. They don't because they're engaged. And to me, the, the worst situation we have had was a group volunteered for the community for community cleanup. And when they out there, there really wasn't anything for them to do. And if you want to see how to disengage kids quickly, make that service learning unmeaningful. And that really disengages them in a hurry. And that happened to us once. And we said, next year, if you want our 32 kids to show up, which they did from various classes, make sure they have plenty to do.